Hi guys and welcome to another video from Symboltech Working Bench. On the previous video we saw how to make a PCB board using a CNC machine and thanks to Vishal that bring me that machine I managed to calibrate it and to make it working perfectly. Now it's time to populate the board with all the components that needs to be on this board. So to don't waste any more time let me turn on the soldering station and start soldering the components on this board. And here we go, we are ready to solder everything in place. So we have our SPED connector over there, we have the diodes, we have the 0.1 microfarad capacitors, the two resistors, and then the smoothing capacitors. I'm gonna start with the SPED, then I'm gonna put the small uh, components like these 0.1 capacitors, then the diodes, then the smoothing capacitors, and the uh, resistors. Let's start doing that. This is how the board looks with all the components in, so let's turn it over and start soldering. There you go, the board looks really nice for a homemade PCB board, doesn't look bad at all. Now I'm gonna bring the transformer and I'm gonna supply the power and I'm gonna test to make sure that everything working good. And then also I'm gonna connect to the amplifier, to the Amcamp Nelson Pass amplifier and give a try to see how it's still gonna perform. So I connected the transformer to the power supply board. So I have one secondary AC coming to this uh, side and another secondary coming for this side. Let me just turn a bit like that. So I should have the ground in the middle, positive and positive. So let's have a look if it's working. So here I have 22.34 volts and here I have 22.36 volts. So it's perfect, more than enough for the Amcom Nelson Pass amplifier. Now let me bring also the amplifier and connect some uh, speakers and power to see if it's working how should. Everything is connected, so I have the speaker with this channel and this speaker with this channel. I have the power supply board that we made today and the transformer that I'm gonna use for this project. Now let's play a song from my mobile and see how that sound.
I'm really impressed with the sound of this little amplifier. It's more than enough for my monitoring the sound when I'm editing the videos. And I'm also happy that we managed to do a really nice PCB board power supply. Looks really professional and is just a homemade one. So next part of this project it will gonna be when I'm gonna start building the preamplifier because a while ago I designed a nice PCB board for a nice preamplifier so I'm gonna start doing that. And here I also prepared all the components that we need for this project. So stay tuned, please subscribe, activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss the part when I'm gonna start doing the preamplifier. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to put your like down there and if you have something to ask about this project, please leave your comment down below. This is all for this video guys and thanks for watching and until the next video, bye bye.